Hi, Lawrence Sanek here with Home Seller, Home Buyer Podcast. Thank you for joining us so you can learn about Home Buyer episode number 28, 15 questions to expect from a mortgage lender. Wow, 15 questions from a mortgage lender? Well, put yourself in the mortgage lender's shoes before giving someone a big loan. Wouldn't you want to know a lot about the borrower? Expect your mortgage application to ask these questions about your income, credit history, the home you want to buy, how much money you have saved, and more depending on your situation. In the employment and income column, they're going to want to know where you work, how much you make, and you'll be expected to document the income with copies of income statements, paychecks, pay stubs, W-2s. How long have you been at your job? How is your income derived? Steady salary? Commissions? If your income varies, you may need to provide details. What works in your favor if you can prove steady employment two or more years with the same employer or in the same line of work? What makes your application more complicated? You are self-employed or a contract worker. In the debt column, what recurring debts do you have? How much do you pay a month for auto loans and credit cards? You might be asked to document your recurring debts by providing copies of your bills. What works in your favor? Your monthly debt payments account for 36% or less of your pre-tax income, and you haven't made a major purchase like a car recently. What makes your application more complicated? Your credit cards are maxed out on your monthly debt payments account for more than 36% of your pre-tax income. In the savings and assets column, they're going to want to know how much money do you have in the bank. You will be asked to provide copies of your bank statements. How much do you have saved in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and other assets? You will also be asked to provide copies of the brokerage statements. What works in your favor? You can show that after closing, you will have at least two months' worth of mortgage payments in the bank. What makes your application more complicated? You will have little cash in the bank after paying for the down payment and closing costs. In the down payment column, what is the size of the down payment? Where does the down payment money come from? Is it all from your savings, or did someone give you a gift from the family or grant from a nonprofit? You will have to document the source of your down payment money by providing copies of several months of bank and brokerage statements and letters from gift givers and grant makers. What works in your favor? The down payment comes from savings or other equity from a house that you're selling. Even better, the down payment is 20% or more. What makes your application more complicated? You have trouble documenting where your down payment money comes from or some of the money was a gift or a grant without proof. In the loan purpose column, are you borrowing to buy a home or to refinance the current mortgage? If it's a refinance, do you want to take cash out at closing? If so, how much? What works in your favor? The loan is for a home purchase or a simple rate and term refinance without taking cash out. What makes your application more complicated? You're getting a cash out refinance. In the property use and type column, What's the address? Do you plan to live in the house year-round, or is it an investment or vacation property? Is it a house, duplex, condominium, co-op? What works in your favor, the house is a detached, single-family home to be used as a primary residence. What makes your application more complicated? The property is a duplex or condominium to be used as a vacation home or to rent out to tenants. Those are just some of the questions you can face when you're making a mortgage application. There's a free tool where credit surprises are the last thing you want to deal with during the mortgage process. And you can see your credit report and score free at my bank rate. And that will be a link on the site that you can go to. Just remember, more complicated doesn't mean impossible. It means you have to provide more documentation The loan decision might take more time and you might have to pay a higher interest rate or higher fees. 
you might endure more frustration than a borrower with a simple loan application. Thank you for listening to Homebuyer Episode 28, 15 Questions to Expect from a Mortgage Lender. We are grateful for the time you have taken to listen to this podcast and look forward to your input on what you would like to hear in future podcasts. You can find the show notes at homesellerhomebuyer.com. You can leave your comments, questions, and suggestions by using the Contact Us button in the upper right-hand corner of the website, or you can email us at info at homesellerhomebuyer.com. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to listen to Home Seller, Home Buyer, and catch us on the next episode. Thank you for listening so you can stay informed. Oh, 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 oh,